Hi, thanks for stopping by again. Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is the listing presentation. Now we're going to break this up into a couple short segments. That way we can focus on it, stop, rewind, and go over it again if you need to. But it's really important that you understand a couple quick things about the listing presentation itself. The listing presentation, in order for you to list, I'm sorry, for you to last in real estate, you have to list, okay? It is a lot easier to control 5, 10, 15, 20 listings than it is to control 5, 10, 15 buyers. Buyers will drive you crazy, and they end up, they, they end up uh, going ahead and wasting a lot of time in the terms of going out, showing a lot of property, researching a lot of things, writing contracts, attending inspections, and so on and so forth. So the biggest thing you, I want you to understand is that in order for you to sell a lot of real estate, you got to be able to control a lot of inventory. And how you control a lot of inventory is getting very, very good with your presentation. Okay. Now, as far as the listing presentation itself is concerned, we're going to make a couple assumptions here so far that you've already done the, the primary things. Okay. First, of course, you prospected. Okay, you've prospected, you've gone on Mojo, you've gone on Red X, you've gone on Expireds and for sale by owners, and then you've found the lead. Okay, however you found it, you've prospected, now you've found it. Okay, then, all right, you lead follow up to make the actual appointment. And now they're ready to go ahead and talk to you on a meaningful basis and say, hey, yeah, we want you to come on out, talk to us about listing the home. Fantastic. Then you went ahead and took the time to pre-qualify. 100%. Okay? When I say pre-qualify 100%, basically what I'm talking about is using the Mike Ferry scripts for pre-qualification, which we've already gone over, you can see in previous videos. And in that pre-qualification, you've asked them a lot of questions. Obviously, you've asked them if, about their, where they're going to go, when they need to be there, what happens if the home doesn't sell, you know, how much do they want, how much do they owe, who are they talking to, what sort of concerns do they have. All of those questions you've gone through, you've got the answers, you know exactly what it is you're trying to do. And they know, as well as you, that's why you're coming out there. You're coming out there to make a listing presentation, to ask them for the business, and then to go ahead and make a decision. That's what you're there for. There's no denying it. Everybody knows where you're coming from, okay? Now, what we're gonna talk about here is the actual listing presentation itself. Okay, now the listing presentation itself is really broken down into three parts, all right? The first part, okay, we would call the one minute the one minute presentation. It's a, it's, it's a great thing. If you can go in, make a presentation to somebody, make whatever your statements you're going to state, be done and be out and, you know, have them signing in a month, in a minute. That's a great thing. And it does happen, believe it or not, in this market, it still does happen. Okay. A lot of it depends on your preparation up front and a lot of it depends on your confidence in the moment. So the one minute presentation is something that we're going to go over today. Then the second part, okay, is the CMA presentation, okay? The CMA presentation. This is the part where you go over price and how people determine value, okay? And then of course, the last, all right, the last presentation is when they go ahead and they start to make a decision, okay? So what we're gonna cover today is we're gonna kinda cover the one minute presentation, all right? So now, if you already have it, pull it out. If you don't have it, then stop right here and go to mikeferry.com, all right? And on the free download section, pull up the one minute presentation, okay? And it's a free download, it's in a PDF, go ahead and print it out. Chances are if you're on my team or if you're uh, you know, in uh, our coaching in some fashion, you've already got it. Make sure you pull it out right now, all right? Now, the first thing about the one minute presentation, you have to understand a couple things. The one minute presentation does work. I've done it personally a couple of times for sure. All right. And I'm telling you right now, it is a powerful feeling to know that you can go in, say what you got to say, 
do what needs to be done and have them signing in less than a minute and let me show you exactly how that works okay so first when you walk over to the house okay you're walking up to the door you're saying an affirmation to yourself or something that's going to get you excited get you ready i always like to tell myself i'm going to price this home right it's going to sell you know i'm going to list this home i'm going to price it right and it's going to sell i'm going to list this home i'm going to price it right and it's going to sell i say that to myself over and over and over all the way up to the door okay I'm gonna list this home I'm gonna price it right and it's gonna sell I'm gonna list this home I'm gonna price it right and it's gonna sell it's that all in the belief in the way that you come to the door okay now you're at the door you knock on it you know hi I'm Carl Realty Executives thanks again for having me over I'm excited okay you got to be excited about this I'm excited about getting your home on the market and getting it sold now it's important that you emphasize at this point the word sold okay on your script right there make sure you mark down okay on mine you can see I always have mine it says and getting it sold make sure you mark down getting it sold underline that okay now the reason why is this is an embedded command all right the embedded command is a subconscious direction to the seller that this is why I'm here I'm not here to list the home I'm not here to, you know, see your house. I'm not here to play patty cakes. I'm here to get your home sold, okay? That's what they want. Give it to them, all right? Then you say, do you mind if I take a quick look around, all right? Now, what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to have you say, well, tell you what, why don't I show you around? That's what they always want to do. They always want to have, you know, take you by the hand and show you everything about the house. Let me tell you from the beginning. You do not want this to happen, all right? So you know what? I'll tell you what. I kind of like to take a look at it through the eyes of a buyer. Okay? Do you mind if I take a look at it through the eyes of a buyer? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll meet you in the kitchen. Did you get the pre-listing package I sent over yesterday? Yes? Great. Tell you what. I'll just meet you in the kitchen in about a minute. And then, and then if we have any questions, I'll ask you about it. Okay? Right from the beginning, you're establishing control. The beautiful part about this is that they will not sell you the home. That's what they're trying to do when you go with them around the place. They start throwing all kinds of doubts in your ear. They tell you things like, well, you know, you know, we, 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 we put, you know, brand new paint on the walls or, or, or we, we redid this cabinet or whatever. They try to upsell you the home. Okay. And sellers are great sellers, salespeople. You got to make sure that you do not get involved in that if at all possible. All right. Now, some people, you just can't get out of it. You know, little old grandma, she's going to want to show you what she did. She's going to want to show you what her kids did. And that's okay. But by and large, try to not make it a habit. Okay. Try to get out of that and just tell them that you'll meet them in the kitchen. Okay. The second reason why you want to do this, not only to establish control, but also so it'll save time. Okay. You to look, you're a real estate professional. You've looked at homes all the day, all right? You know what a home looks like. You don't need to have a seller show you what a kitchen is. You don't need to have a, teller, a seller show you what the bathroom is, okay? You know specifically from all your experience exactly what the clients are looking for in a home these days. And they don't need, you know, you, you don't need them to show you, all right, the upgraded Lazy Susan in the kitchen, all right? That's not going to sell the home. I can't tell you how many homes I've actually sold without ever seeing the home. But that's another day. So what we're going to talk about here is trying to save you time. So, hey, guys, I'll look forward to seeing you in a little bit. Okay? Now, come back to the kitchen table. And you say, you know what, guys? I really appreciate you having me over. And, you know, just to start things off, I wrote down three real important questions for you. May I ask them? Well, sure. Go ahead. Okay, great. Number one, all right, do you absolutely have to sell this home? Do you absolutely have to sell this home? Make sure you underline, emphasize, sell this home. Do you absolutely have to sell this home? Or do you absolutely have to sell this home? You see how the difference there? It's your, what you're trying to, in, trying to figure out is what is your motivation, okay? If this home doesn't sell, what happens? Do you absolutely have to sell this home? 99% of the time, they're going to tell you no okay and it's all right they could say well no we could rent it out or no we could stay here or no we could do this or whatever that's okay but the reason why you say this is so that they will get the point okay that 
you're here to talk about selling the home. You're not here to talk about listing the home. All right. Remember, when we're talking about all of this, we're talking about selling, not listing. All right. Do you absolutely have to sell this home? Well, yes, yes, we do. Well, yeah, we'd like to, or we really want to. Okay, great. All right. Number two, will you price the home to sell? Will you price the home to sell? Or do you want to have it sit on the market a really long time? Well, no, no, no. We want to get it sold, but we don't want to give it away. That's what you'll always hear. And that's okay. All right. Remember, these statements are for their ears. So they get it, all right? Will you price your home to sell? Or do you want it to sit on the market a really long time? What you're simply telling them here is that there is a direct correlation between the price you set on your home and how long it's gonna be on the market, okay? You price it way up here, it's gonna take forever. If you price it appropriately, it won't take long, all right? That's all you're trying to convey here. Then third, do you, want me to handle the sale for you. Very simple. Do you want me to handle the sale for you? Okay. Now don't be surprised if they say, well, yeah, we do. Great. Okay. But why would they say that? Well, let's just take a quick minute. If you're talking to for sale by owners and expireds and, and people like this, and you're going on multiple presentations, all right, Chances are people in this economy, they're seeing more than one realtor before they ever saw you, okay? And they've probably been through the drill before. And it may be at the point now where they're like, you know what, we don't even wanna fool with it. Let's just get this over with. We know that we're tired of interviewing agents. You know, Carl looks like a great guy. His hair is really too short, but hey, you know, he's got a suit on. He looks smart, talks good. Let's go ahead and let's work with him, okay? That's the end of it. You don't need to say anything else. Okay, game over. It's done. That's the one minute presentation. Hey, thanks for having me over. Do you mind if I take a quick look around? Great. Look, do you absolutely have to sell this home? Yes, we do. Okay, great. Do you want to price this home to sell or do you want to have it sit on the market a long time? Oh, no, no, we want to go ahead and sell it. Okay, great. Do you want me to handle a sale for you? Well, yes, we do. Okay, great. All we need to do now is simply sign the contract so I can help you get what you want in the time you want it. Won't that be great? Great. Sign the contract. Boom. Game over. Okay. It is as simple as that. Now I know you're right there on the other side of this screen telling me, Carl, look, <laughs> it can't be that easy. I'm telling you it is. It's just that easy. It happens more often than you not, than you think. And when you properly pre-qualify a motivated, a motivated seller, somebody who says they want to do something, who's motivated to do it, can do it, has the ability. There's really no reason why you need to be there for two hours doing a listing presentation. Okay. Just none. You can be in and out of here in less than 20 minutes. Anyway, I hope this has been of value to you. All right. You take care and have a powerful selling day. Bye-bye.